Hello and welcome to my kitchen. In today's recipe, I'll be showing you how to make a steak milanesa, and yes, we will be having some french fries. You'll need some thinly sliced steak. Sometimes you can find it as breakfast steak, and they're super thin. And other times you can find it as what? Uh, you can ask for a thinly sliced chuck. You can use a bistec or pick the thinnest slice of that roll that you find at your butcher's. Okay. But if you have it in a pack, they usually have it under a chuck, a uh, breakfast steak, and that'll work. You have some flour. <clears throat> you, you're going to need some flour. Let me tell you what we're going to do to this flour. <laughs> <laughs> to your all-purpose flour, you're going to add some salt and pepper. Adjust salt and pepper to taste. How do you feel about me throwing some garlic powder in here? I think that that's a great idea. If you like certain seasonings, like for example, I like Mexican oregano, but a lot of you can't handle it, then uh, that's why I kind of just keep it basic. But remember to always make it comfortable for your home. Even if you add a little bit of cumin, garlic, onion powder in here, it's just going to enhance the flavor of that crispiness. Yeah. Thank you. Eggs. To your eggs, you want to add some mustard and mix them and mix them good. This is beating it, girl. But you don't say beat, beat because you don't like the word. I didn't put a trigger warning, so. <laughs> if you don't like mustard, you can use a little bit of ketchup in here, a little bit of hot sauce. Ooh. Some Theo, you can put some Theo in here, some tapatio. Let us know what your favorite hot sauce is in the comments, amigos. You'll need some breadcrumbs, panko crumbs, it's gonna be up to you, friends. The reason I tend to use panko crumbs is because when I use it for frying, it doesn't burn my oil so quickly and I get to recycle my oil and use it for another occasion, okay? So if you guys uh, don't know where to purchase this, I get a way better price when I go to an Asian market than when I buy it at a grocery store. Yeah, you guys agree? Thanks for the tip. All right. And you pour some out just like you would your cereal. You can season your panko or your breadcrumbs to taste, and this is the part where you can also add a little bit of the garlic powder or your mm -hmm. favorite seasonings. You just added Himalayan salt? That's it. Mix it up. And we're not done yet. Take your steak, dip it into the flour. Make sure that you're coating every little crevice. Dip it into your egg. Let that drip. and into your panko crumbs or your bread crumbs, whatever you're using. We have so much overcast today, don't we, honey? I love it. Me too. Place your pan on a medium heat and add a good amount of oil. Now we're just gonna give that a few minutes to heat up. Once your oil gets nice and hot, you're gonna place your milanesa in there. Please be careful with your manitas. I don't want you to burn yourself, friends. Very, very carefully. You're gonna say, Steph, how long do I fry it? It's gonna depend on how thick your steak is. That's pretty thin. That's really thin. I don't think I'll be here more than four minutes. Okay. Which is great when you're using pinko crumb because if you fry pinko crumbs too long, they just burn out and, but they're really great. They can, they can really take the heat. That's right. And after about two minutes, I am going to flip. Oh, it's so beautiful. All right, friends, I think we're just about ready. I'm going to let that drip a few seconds, and I'm going to place it on my little rack. That looks so juicy and crispy. What's the reason for putting it on the rack like that? So that all the excess oil can drip, and if you place this on a paper towel, it's just going to make everything uh, soggy, and we want a nice, delicious crisp to it, and this allows the air to flow, and you get to serve a delicious milanesa to your family. That was a test and you passed. <laughs> I'm going to continue with the rest of our milanesas and I'm going to get started on frying our french fries. And I will be doing a double fry for our french fries, which means I'm going to fry them for about six minutes in some really hot oil. Then I'm going to take them out, let them rest for a good three to four minutes, and then I'll fry them again until they're crisp. This is a papa factory. And just some regular homemade fries. Nothing special, just a double fry. You guys have seen me do this many of times here on the channel. You guys ready to eat? I'm ready. Mm. 
And to the salad, I'm gonna add a little bit of the Views jalapeno chili oil. We'll link the recipe in the description area. Mix that around. And it serves at somewhat of a vinaigrette when you're adding your lime. As always, Views Club and Bell Notification Squad, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. And we want to give a special shout out to all of you that don't have a mother and appreciate Cloud and I for what we do best, being moms and dias and loving and mothering. Smothering. We love you <laughs> like a mother would. We love you guys like a mother would. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adios. Say ah. Oh, honey, it's coming. Thank you. Look at that. Oh, boy. Mmm. Mmm. I love how moist the meat is. And that little crunch stays throughout the, the bite. Okay, oh, no, no. you are gonna get some carrots in here. I like the other vegetables, but the carrots, please. A ver. Open wide, girl. I love feeding you. I like mm. feeding people. Mm -hmm. This is the first time I have the jalapeno oil as um as a vinaigrette. That's amazing. Mm. See, it's, it's good for everything. It's milusos. Mm-hmm. Oh, so good. Your turn. Growing up, this wasn't always my favorite. This was something that the adult men would order for some reason. <laughs> I don't know what it's like now. So ladies, if you guys like this, let me know. I guess I was a grown man when I was eight. I used to love this. You know, <laughs> I'll always be a baby, but this is pretty good. Should we brew something and sit down and eat? Why? Because you want to talk to me about something? What? <laughs> I want to enjoy your company. Bye, Beast Club. We love you. Open up and eat your vegetables. Get me a burger, Cloud. Get me a burger. I went in the car today and I was like, what's that smell? And I said, ooh, the lingering smell, the aromas of an Angus beef. Oh, don't get me started. Can and I some grilled onions. I know some people would be super bothered by that smell, but I was like, I'm just going to start leaving a hamburger in here overnight and just eating it in the morning. Sickle. That is a sickle thing to do. You know, I'm in that zone where, um, where I used to take Punky to therapy and all I wanted to do was eat a burger, but I have to be mindful about it. Okay. I don't know. I don't. You guys just want burgers on the channel. Ya terminaste. <laughs> ya terminaste. You're talking about you did, you did a twerk and the moonwalk at the same time. You so mija. <laughs> That's what burgers do for me. Andale. Si te levantas todos los días, bien bonita. ¿Quién? Yo. Ajá. Sí. Así de pechocha. Who am I to insult your taste? Y que si esta noche sin mí. Um, I was waiting for your phone call, but you didn't return my call. Hey. It doesn't feel good to be dissed by a man. Like, Ay, mija, I had important business. I would never, ever do that to you. And I never have, and I never will. But in the future, it sounds like I might have to, to hey. teach you a lesson. Girl, I am going to make you the best meal for dinner lesson learned we do not need to teach any more lessons i accept your apology i'm gonna surprise you know what i do have a recipe that you're gonna love it's my uh indian uh, fusion one that i'm working ooh, my ooh. rum my rum lila <laughs> and i am naming it rum lila girl for you oh <laughs> I really do, mija. Te va a encantar. Okay. Es lo que te voy a dar. Okay. And I'm going to lay it over your rice. Así. A ver si no estoy ocupada. Y te voy a... No, pues vas a estar ocupada con un butter paneer, tú. Yummy. <laughs> so good. I can't wait to eat. <laughs> Ahora, pues sale, vale. <gasps> the chili oil. Which one do you want in here? Mm. 
No, yo quiero algo. That's why I'm over here saying stuff. What to... does this remind you of? Oh, well, yeah. Mm -hmm. What does it remind you of? Say it. Trailer Club? Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. See you with your Japanese breadcrumbs all fancy. Okay, okay. I have about two cups. You a little cereal, honey. Yep. I don't eat that much cereal. Hush. Okay, Only on special occasions. Ooh. <laughs> no más porque no te regresé la llamada. Girl, you know that I used my coupon already at the beginning of the no year. No me vuelvas a llamar tratando de explicar que lo que vino no era cierto. <laughs> Vergüenza debes tener si me quieres convencer. That's what I have to say to you. Ay, mija. <laughs> I use my card. I only get two coupons a year and I used it up. So mm -hmm. I didn't want to call back because I wasn't sure if you were meditating, reading, really into it. So, you, you know, don't make excuses for yourself. We were in a conversation knee deep in the pool in the conversation. And then huh, Mika, I had unfinished, I had unfinished oh, business. I'm going to put a new clause in our contract. Como somos las norteñas. We handle our business. Mija. I have a new clause in my contract. <sighs> Don't you dare. And it is not Santa Claus. Ay, no te aguantas. Es la cláusula de que si me dices que me vas a regresar la llamada, me la vas a regresar. Así te estés. Así estés. En cosas inapropiadas. Así estés en el trabajo. Así. Lo único que acepto es de los niños. Si estás en entrada con los chamacos, pues bueno. Ay, mija, it will never, ever, ever happen again. I deserve forgiveness. Forgiveness is the way. Forgiveness I, every day. I for, the thing is, is that I forgive immediately. I know you do, you're sweet. Immediately, but it doesn't mean that I don't like the carrilla. This is going to cost me, friends. It's going to cost me forever. I like the carrilla that comes with it. It's mm -hmm. the best. Si eres Ay, como te encanta la carrilla. I like to receive it, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And I'm not good at giving it. No, you're not. You give up after two minutes. I'm like, no, I don't like that. No, I'd rather cuddle you and love you. <laughs> yeah, you do a two minute time frame. I'm going to need more, some more panko. All so right. if you guys are using And pink, a bigger plate. No, no. Ooh, es que le tengo que dar un detail de la cocina ahora. Ah, okay. So that's why I'm having a little bit of extra fun, if you guys can tell. Put your pantalones into the inks. <laughs> they look like lawn shots, girl. Nice one. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Darcy's gonna come find you from the woods. Oh gosh. He's gonna have a pleasant surprise when he doesn't make it past my fence. Because of boo boo? Creeping up on me like that. Ay, no. Que miedo. I'm not into that. I need announcements. I, I like how you shade me for having a Mr. Darcy. I have zero prospects. I have a zero love interest. I have zero men knocking on my door. What? I have zero men in my woods. I, the only male that I have in my life is Ari and my good son. Such a good son. Ay, mija, that's the way that I give you carrilla and that's it. Estás contando dinero frente a los pobres. ¿Qué dinero? I don't, you can't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cállate. Mm -hmm. 